Hey, uh, so uh, today I want to talk about mirror reflection and why that's so important. Uh, that's such an important aspect of the universal law. Mirror reflection is how you perceive yourself within your mind. How do you see your life? How do you imagine your reality? Okay. Um, when you're trying to manifest something, most of the time, most of us don't are not successful, um, or we don't manifest what we desire because we have this block, either a block in our minds in which we don't believe it's possible, we don't fully believe it's possible, um, which causes us to to attract what we what we do believe, what our dominant thoughts are. So, in other words, you're going to attract what your dominant thoughts are, okay? So, the mirror reflection is whatever you hold in your mind or whatever you believe in your mind, whatever your dominant belief system is of that current state, <clears throat> circumstance, or situation, that's what you're going to manifest in your daily, day-to-day -day -day basis, or throughout your, your, you know, the weeks, the months, or years. Um, most of us don't think we're good enough, uh, or talented enough, or smart enough. Most of us always wish and hope that we can be like other people. You know, um, you see people say, "Oh, I wish I can draw like that," or, or guys or girls say, "I wish I was that attractive," or whatnot. You know, there are different things that we all want and we all, you know, hope and wish for. Some people say that's wishful thinking. But the truth of the matter is that if you learn this, the, 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 the mindset, you actually start to understand that you can change the perception of how people view and see and react towards you. Okay? By changing your pre by changing the, the the mirror reflection within first, and then having it reflect outside of you, you can change your life. You can change circumstance, situations, and events. Um, the way it works is like this: your mind connects to is the bridge. Your subconscious mind is the bridge to, and we spoke about this before, is the bridge to, to source, okay? Your mind is the bridge to source. So, when in your, your mind, meaning your subconscious mind, I wanna be, I wanna, I wanna make my, uh, my wording exact in this description. The subconscious mind is the bridge to, to source, okay? To higher self, to source, to universe, to God, consciousness. And so that's why when we hold our dominant thought of something that we desire or want in our life, and it doesn't, we, we notice it doesn't change or we just keep living that same reality, it's because, not because you're punished or God or universe hates you or whatnot, most people think like that, or you, I, you know, most people are like, well, I guess I wasn't supposed to have it. I guess it wasn't meant to be. That's not the case. Okay, there are some, there are some things that, that are complicated, which, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go over in this video. If there's a request for that, I will continue that. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's just something I'm, I'm not trying to get into at this point right now. Uh, but it, it's going to be a complicated. You know, because you start, just to give an example, what I'm talking about is like some people, well, what about this? And why did pe this person was born like that? And that's a whole different um, part of what I'm saying. It's part of it, but it's a different aspect of it. Um, and like I said, if someone requests a video on that I will, and, or has any questions on that, I will, I will give you, uh, I'll make a video and give you my, uh, my, inf my input on that. But the way, again, let's go back to the, let's start all over so that I, I you, you, when you're, whoever's watching this video can understand the process. The way the mind wor uh, it works, again, you get your, sub your subconscious mind, which is the bridge to, like I said before, 
the repetition synchronicity of, of my my words is the gateway to higher self, God consciousness, source. Okay? Different names, same thing. Alright? So when you're holding a thought every day, every day, so let's say an example that you're holding a thought that you are poor and that you live a daily day pro, uh, daily uh, you live by a uh, week by week check by check and that no matter how much money you you have <coughs> on what new job you 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 receive or attract to yourself you always are living check by check nothing changes and so with that the frustration comes right so your mind is believing this and the reality of it is true because your mind is believing it okay so the mirror so because you're believing it within your your, your, your your higher consciousness the higher faculties of your mind your subconscious mind and you're sending out that signal to to the bridge to, to the uh god source okay a higher a, a higher consciousness which is source um when you send it to source universe the universe says your wish is my command or what you believe it, it shall be so right so then your reality in, in, in the in the physical realm becomes so now that's a good thing and a bad thing that's something to get excited about people are like well my life is you know like this and like that how, how is that exciting and it probably calling me all kinds of crazy names well it's exciting because if what I'm saying is true, which it is true, whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. It's like saying, you know, it's like saying, oh, gravity doesn't exist. Well, you know what? You can take the the, the world's most holiest person, and you take the world's most negative, evilest person, and you throw them off the World Trade Tower or Empire State Building. You push them, and let's say there is no God doesn't get involved. It's just gravity and those two and those two fools, and so. What's gonna happen? Um, they're both gonna go splat and die because the universe, the, the, the law of gravity states what goes up must come down. You see what I'm saying? Um, that is something that is just a law, universal law. Different universal law, applied differently depending on what you're doing. So for us, we're trying to understand the universal law of the way the mind of creation, of allowing, which is manifesting. Because remember, I don't believe in manifestation. I believe that everything that is ever going to be or ever will be is already in creation. The reason why we don't see it or perceive it is because, okay, it's because we don't believe it or we have that block or disbelief but the reason why I say everything is already created is because you can't create something that you may you gotta understand you may have doubt you may have disbelief but someone out there some male or female out there may believe what you don't believe in you see just like Rosa Park believe that you know the African Americans deserve to be treated the same Okay, it's like Buddha believed that enlightenment was possible. Jesus believed peace in all religions were possible. You know, Napoleon Hill believed through the conscious understanding and empowering self with the wisdom and knowledge of how to truly think and master the higher faculties of the mind that you can change who and what you are, what your life is, what your destiny is, and, on, and what not. And they were right. The proof is in the pudding. They've done it. And since then, millions have done it. We're not talking about anything that's not proven. We're not talking about anything that's not new. This is a continuous process, a continuous learning. That's why I would like you guys, whoever's watching this, to continue to look out for my videos, to continue to reach out and say, hey, do a video on this, hey, do a video on that. Help me teach, help me express the wisdom that has been given to me to be able to give it to you guys. 
when you ask the Q&A, I told you I'm really good at the q and I, I don't know, that's the way my mind is programmed. Some people are good at, they can talk about one topic. I like to do my best to do that, but a lot of times my mind wants to talk about how to apply that one law into everything. And I'll start talking about it in different formats and different ways. And that's how, because that's how we learn. Sometimes, you know, I can give an example one way and then you'll notice I'll give it to you in another way. And most people that are ignorant or don't understand what I'm doing, they'll say, oh, this guy repeats himself a lot. No, it's not by mistake, it's by design. Because repetition, synchronicity is the universal law. And understanding that not everybody learns the same and that if a teacher, a good teacher, slash student because I am teacher and student I myself at times I can't learn a certain way so to have someone come across and teach me in a different way the same thing they're trying to say or bring across they can give it to me in a different way and if they can give it to me over and over and over again in different formats eventually one of those formats is going to fit the way I, I think and it's going to fit my perception my understanding of things and I'm going to be like oh I got it. I remember one time teaching someone, and I was teaching them in, in a religious religious aspect. They told me they're not religious. I said, okay. And they're like, I'm, they, they told me they don't believe anything I'm saying is true. So I, we, I waited and waited and waited. I let that negative energy, you know, that pass. Because, you know, people, they like, you know, they become, you know, they, they, they block that. And they're like, oh, yeah, don't tell me this. I'm like, okay. But this, this person was very important to me. So I waited and waited and waited um, within a few minutes. And then, you know, I noticed his energy changed. He kind of got over it. So I started talking. I brought up the conversation about what was the same thing, but I brought it in, in, in a science, from the science point of view. And he was just talking to me. And, and he just was like, we were talking for like an hour, hour and a half. And he just loved it. And then I looked at him at the end and I said, can I tell you something? I was like, what? He says, what? I said, you know what we were talking about before that you told me it was a whole bunch of crap? He was, I was like, yeah. I said, well, I just spoke to you and this, I told, well, we was just having this conversation was the exact same thing except from, a, from a, a, a scientific point of view. And he was like, oh, well, why didn't you say so? And it was because that's how he perceives things. He's, a, he's, he's scientific. Others may be from a religious aspect, you know, I can talk to you, you know, but I'm going to cut that short there because I'm kind of getting off track. But you get the point. And that's just the way I like to teach. And I want you guys to know that I'm more than happy to make different videos. It's not a, this, this channel I'm hoping for is that we can, as it grows, we can grow together. We can help each other. We can teach each other. Because we are always student and teacher. All of us have the capability or we're born in our you know it's embedded in us in our dna to be student and teacher you're teaching through your actions and you're learning through other actions constantly teaching constantly recording your mind's constantly recording and then it digests that information processes that information throughout the day especially when you're sleeping and then you learn and, and, and then you experience and then you grow that's that's how it is that's why being a light in the, in the darkness is so important because you don't even have to, you're not, if you can reach the highest level of being one of the greatest teachers in the world without you even realizing it through your actions, you see, some great teachers are so great, but they need that, they need that confirmation from, from, to have a lot of millions of people come to them. They need that confirmation. But in reality, the greatest teachers in the world are those that are constantly teaching through their, through their action. Look at Gandhi. Gandhi wasn't running around trying to be um, like, say, hey, look at me. He was like, no, I'm just doing this because this is what I want to do. This is what I believe in. Mother Teresa, same thing. And then the people started noticing her and her light just got so huge. It started noticing her. She wasn't running around and saying, hey, look at my light. No, she was like, this is who I, I am in the stillness. This is what I, I, I've come to show you. This is my perception of life. And people saw that and she attracted like-minded people that they didn't understand how to get there. She just got, she just 
you know, they, she, they, those people became more awake and, and started doing what, we, what we're trying to do now just before we decided that we were going to do it. And that's, that's a beautiful thing because one person can do it, then another, then another, another, because it exists. That's what I was telling you before about mirror reflection that the, I, just because you don't think something is possible, somebody else does and somebody's already doing it. That's why uh, everything in creation is already created. It's more of, okay, this is a, this person wants to run, uh, you know, wants to run uh, the mile faster than anyone. Somebody comes along and says, oh, that's impossible. Then he does it. And then you have five other people doing the same thing too because now the possibility is there. It's like the Wrights Brothers. The Wrights Brothers is like, well, you know, we, we can create some machine that can fly because they, sit, they saw that birds can fly and they said, well, the possibility is there. And people was like, no, it's impossible. If, we, if God intended us for, to fly, he would have given us wings. That ignorance, that disbelief, that separation through resistance. So that's, what they, the, that's how their minds were. And you don't get anywhere like that. You don't become great like that. It is when you think and allow your mind to, to believe and to just... Imagine things beyond your imagination. I always say, try to train your mind to imagine things that you can never imagine. So if you're like, well, I imagine I have a million dollars. No, imagine you have unlimited abundance of flow. And don't worry about how it's going to happen. You don't have to get into detail. Just believe that. Just choose to believe that. So a great way of exercising your your power. Your power your, is your imagination. And then whether you choose, your cho choosing locks you into that reality. And then once you choose, you take the, the action to align that, and then you, you start working in that direction. People like Bill Gates have, uh, at some point, made that sub or the conscious, conscious decision and made that decision, and, and look at the byproduct of that. They're very successful. So... Holding the mirror reflection in your mind, or have, talking, going back to the mirror reflection, holding whatever you believe in your mind will reflect, will overflow. It's like a cup. You have a cup, and if it's filled with Pepsi, and you take a big, huge, endless jar of, of clean, crystal clear water, and you start pouring it in, pouring it in, pouring it in, what's going to happen in is, is that Pepsi is going to overflow, flow out, and you're going to have nothing but clear water water you see and people are gonna see and it's gonna overflow it's gonna not only only flow within but it's gonna overflow without and people are like wow and that's and, and that's what you gotta understand you gotta learn to, to, to really believe what you have within first that's why there's a saying go within or go without so you gotta go within yourself you gotta you gotta visualize and see it and hold it in here do the make the changes here change those what we talked about paradigms those blocks those habits those disbeliefs when you change that and you start believing that it is possible then you remove the resistance which is separation from God or source from your wants and desires and then you start to, to, to get closer and closer to God start to awaken more to your true self to the true wisdom that all things is possible, all things do exist, all things is already yours. And then once you start, your mind starts to vibrate at that frequency, because what you're by thinking like that, you're just changing your frequency from a lower frequency to a higher frequency, from disbelief to belief, from un from from no faith to unconditional faith, which is you know you b totally believe that everything is possible, which is non-resistance. So that's what that thinking does for you. That thinking changes your frequency, changes your vibration to a higher, clearer vibration to the point that you're going to manifest whatever you want. So instead of trying to change it out here, change in the physical, change it in, within and watch how it overflows. You will start to get, the, you start to notice that as you make the changes, you start to gain the confidence, the way you think, the way you walk, the way you talk, everything will change. And then you will even get, you will even get see, see the, the, um, 
the confirmation of that from outside of you because people will start saying, man, you changed. Oh, something's different about you. And it'll get more and more and more. You start to see more of the mirror flesh and you start to know that you change inside of you. And so the outside world will be like, you will show you that reflection, will show you that mirror reflection. It's like you change, you cut your head bald, or you, you know, or you just like do something to, to your physical self outside and you stand in front of a mirror, you're going to see that. Okay, so it's the same thing. Eventually, your change within is going to be perceived outside. And that's why faith is, you know, faith comes, that's why there's a saying that faith is in the action, not in the believing. Because when you t start just believing within, because belief is within, when you start to believe within and taking and aligning yourself, which is action, uh, internally and externally, He's like, well, this is what I'm going to do. I believe internally I'm going to do this. Even though externally says something, you know, your reality at that moment or circumstance situation says something totally different. Maybe you don't have the money. You want to go to Mexico for a vacation. Don't worry about that. I see it in my mind and this is what I'm going to do. And you do everything you can to change that perception. When you change that perception and that reality, you will connect to source because you're removing. The more you believe, remember, the more you have no there's no resistance no resistance you have absolute belief absolute faith absolute faith absolute belief is higher frequency higher frequency connects you to god source which when you have no resistance you have absolute belief you're allowing your desires and wants to come into your life into your realm of reality and that's when the universe will attract circumstance situations to you and then what happens from that point is what we call manifestation, when in reality is just, you just got to a point where you absolutely believed, and so therefore you allowed what was already in creation, what universe already separated for you, and gave it to you. Because if you're connected to, think of it this way, if you're connected to the universe, how does the universe not know what you already want? And if the universe wants you, wants you uh, wants to bless you with the greatest good, or your desires and wants, then what's causing that, that delay? Is it time? No. Time is an illusion, right? Reality is an illusion. So why don't you have that trip to Mexico already? Because you have still resistance. And so the universe can't, ain't going to give you something that you don't believe it's possible. The universe doesn't, doesn't work in the impossible. It works in the possible, in the higher level vibrations. When you truly believe, then all of a sudden it just comes out of nowhere and you're like, oh, this is crazy. It really happened. Yeah, if you would have believed right away, you would have had the trip right away. But if you believe it's going to take you five years, it takes you five years. That's what I'm saying. This understanding of these things helps you to change the way you perceive things, helps you to master the faculties of your mind so that you can start doing the work here, so that you can start being grateful and attracting the, the world that you want in this physical reality. As always, this is Ray. Love and peace. Peace out.